Today, I'll be counting down disturbing movies, anime, and manga that'll stick with you for years. Just a complete random list regardless of how popular they are. You're gonna see all the flavors from gore to isolation, and I'll give you some links to learn more about the media or to watch my video on it. However, we are sponsored by NordVPN today, and as the cybersecurity major that I am, it's time to indulge. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN should be your new best friend. See, I majored in cybersecurity, and I can say you're lacking. There are so many threats to your information all across the internet, and Nord helps protect your information. One of those threats is the man in the middle attack. Public Wi-Fi at the library is sweet, but some attacker can trick you, impersonating the free public Wi-Fi, allowing them to steal your passwords, bank info, and more. NordVPN gives next level encryption that never logs your data, giving you a new IP address. All you gotta do is click and you're connected quick to over 5,000 servers in 59 countries, keeping your info safe from threats and your ISP. Plus, it takes off geo restrictions so you can stream content that might be blocked in your country. But it's so cool for me to see how different Netflix is in different countries. Now I can binge Spider-Man in France. You want to protect your information, access content anywhere, and boost your internet speed? Easy. NordVPN is your friend. Plus, it's NordVPN's birthday and you're invited. Go to NordVPN.com slash SpookyRice and get a huge discount off a two-year plan plus a limited gift. You can get an additional four months up to a year of free NordVPN service. 30 days money back guarantee. Go to NordVPN.com slash spooky rice and get a huge discount off a two year plan. Hey, you've got until the 21st to sign up and get an additional four months up to a year free from NordVPN. 30 day money back guarantee. Thanks for NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. Oh boy, another listing. It's so fun to talk about this stuff. Let's get started with number 10, movie, Ichi the Killer. Ichi the Killer is directed by the GOAT, Takashi Miike, adapted from the manga of the same name by Hideo Yamamoto. And I know I can't be the only one who thought this guy in all the promotional images was Ichi. No, this is Ichi, a mentally imbalanced yet powerful martial artist who is used to kill rival Yakuza families, literally entire families. The only match for Ichi is Kiryu, Kakihara, a sadomasochistic enforcer who wants to bring down Ichi is what pulls this movie together. The movie is super gory and Kakihara steals the show. He loves pain. If you beat him, his health bar increases. You can find this movie on Tubi, Peacock, and more, or you can check out Horror Geek Sensei's video for the classic Japanese disturbing movie. Anime, Corpse Party, Tortured Souls. Ooh lord, Corpse Party. Corpse Party is the anime adaption of the video game that was originally released in 1996, but there are many other remakes released. Corpse Party, the game, really likes to lay on the despair but the anime likes to lay on the gore. Some high school kids accidentally get themselves trapped in an alternate dimension, having to avoid death and despair to find a way back to their dimension. It's one of the most disturbing anime, excessively gory, and also something evil happens to someone who doesn't deserve it. Now I'd recommend playing the game, but the episodes are on YouTube. But if you just wanna see the gory kills, check out Shiroi Koto's kill count on Corpse Party Tortured Souls, link in the description. Manga. Metamorphosis. I'm glad this manga doesn't have its claws on me anymore. Let's be frank, Metamorphosis is Entai manga. You can find it on that site. However, unlike other Entai, it's extremely dark and has a lot of story to it. Created by Shindo L, it's about a girl who starts high school wanting to be more social, she gets a makeover, but the pressures of fitting in has her taking drugs and selling herself. The rest of the story is really just a sad spiral of her being manipulated, beaten, and more. Now it is an adult manga, it's full of sex scenes, but 225 pages of what did I just read. You can check out my video and wow. Clap that up, one million views on it? That's awesome, you guys, thanks. Movie, Women's Flesh. Back to the movies. Women's Flesh, My Red Guts. 
Woman's Flesh is directed by Tamakichi Anaru, who also directed various adult fetish films and Tumbling Doll of Flesh, a film that could also be on the list, but I figure let's do the least known first. Woman's Flesh is a grating story, if you could call it that, of a woman who gets broken up with her boyfriend and she really harms herself because of it. The film is a dare, honestly, but it's that kind of movie that defines disturbing breakdown. Oh, and at the end, there's a shout out to some dev documentary called Rare a Dead Person. When I first saw the movie, I wasn't used to seeing stuff like that, but that's old news. Get out of here. Check out Horror Geek's video on Women's Flesh, My Red Guts. Anime. Pupa. Pupa is probably the grossest anime I've seen so far. 12 4 minute episodes. The only thing I liked about this anime was the ending credit song. Pupa is like a disgusting, cessed version of Demon Slayer. Two siblings, Utsusu and Yume, get infected by a pupa virus. This turns Yume into a monster who can return human, yet with an appetite for human flesh. Utsusu gets regenerative powers. So what does that mean? It means she'll feed on him, of course, without losing anything, in the most taboo way possible. It'll stick with you for the rest of your life, and it only takes like 30 minutes to an hour to watch the whole thing. You can watch it all on Billy Billy. Click the link in the description or you can check out my summary. I'll see you there. Manga. Uzuga Waita. So Uzuga Waita is the pen name of one of the leading Ero Guro Entai artists. Ero Guro is basically mixing Entai with gore. Uzuga Waita has many manga in this category. My Chan's Daily Life is the most famous one, where a maid is willingly tortured for the heck of it in the worst ways possible. He also has a manga created based on what happened to Junko Furuta, which I consider despicable. But still, much of what he has created is the definition of disturbing comics and manga. You can catch my video on some of this manga here, and since he's an anti artist, you can also find some of his stuff on that site. Movie Splatter Naked Blood. I can't ignore Splatter Naked Blood. It's just the quintessential disturbing movie for me personally. It's what gave me the idea for this channel that I'm so grateful for. Directed by Hisaya Sato, it's a remake of Genuine R Word, another Sato film. A geek experiments on women, giving them a chemical that turns pain into pleasure. The highlight of the movie is the three women giving themselves the most pain for their pleasure. Frying hands eating eyeballs, it gets rough. But it's pretty weird too, story-wise. Weird to where all I know about the movie is the experiment and not the Tetsuo Iron Man level story. You can watch the movie on YouTube, link in the description, or you can check out my little summary too. Anime. Perfect Blue. Perfect Blue is a really good anime movie. It's a classic, really. Mima retires from her idol group so she can pursue an acting career. She wants to be one of the greats. If you know anything about those idol groups, they can have some weird stalker fans. The struggles of acting and making a name for herself intertwines with paranoia that comes from being stalked. She begins losing her grip on reality and the self. There are some murder scenes, some scenes that might be uncomfortable, but the ending was very hopeful. I recommend renting the movie, but it may be on Amazon Prime. I wouldn't recommend watching my video to learn about the movie, but I'll still plug it. Manga Brutal Brutal, illustrated by Kei Koga and story by Ryo Izawa, is Dexter in Japan. It's all about a detective named Hiroki Dan, who on the surface is a successful, popular investigator. But in secret, he is the vigilante called the Justice Hero, who tortures society's worst people in eye for an eye fashion. So far, I've read volumes one and two, but the story is nuts. It shows you situations where you would hate the bad guy, and then showing you how twisted Hiroki will kill them. And that's pretty much how I can explain explain it without spoiling everything. So if you're a fan of this kind of stuff, check out my brutal playlist. I got the story all laid out for you. Movie Grotesque. Finally, Grotesque, directed by Koji Shirashi, is like a Japanese saw or hostel. Even has a similar font to those movies. A couple get kidnapped by a sadistic madman 
who tortures them to death. It's very gory. Eyes get popped out, fingers, and some castration. Also, this madman stinks really bad. He stinks. So Gortez has a silly ending. But you do feel bad that the couple is tortured like this. Definitely has that hostile feel. You can find this movie on Tubi or you can check out my little video to see what to expect. All right, that is the listing, 10 disturbing Japanese media. Of course, there are many more, so don't settle yet. I'm gonna make some more lists. This wasn't a ranking or anything, so if you didn't see your favorite movie or whatever, you gotta wait till next time. I have some movies for you here to check out. My Chance Daily Life, the film adaption of the Uzuga Waita manga. Very goofy video. Or you can check out The Sadness. That's one of my favorite videos of all time. A gory mess to watch. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to see more messed up stuff. Thanks for watching. Spooky out.